Howdy guys, I'm Axel the Beast, and this is the Curiosity Shop, where I answer your Zelda questions. So, um, you know, E3 went by, and we found out that Zelda Wii is titled, uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Skyward Sword. Um, this mailbag is going to have only, uh, Skyward Sword questions, and there will likely be other mailbags like this for a little, you know, a little while in the future. I also wanted to say, um, congratulations... Congratulations to uh, Zeruda for winning the mailbag logo contest. I probably didn't pronounce her username right, but I'm just gonna run with it. Um, Blue Fire asks, "Well, now that the new Zelda game has been announced, I'm sure everyone is wondering what do you think of the graphics for this game." Uh, typical of me, I actually love them. Uh, it's basically exactly what I wanted in the game. The game to look like, basically. Uh, you know, it looks a little rough in areas. I mean, I think anyone can see that. But um, they've said that they are actually polishing the game. They actually have, they've made that statement. So I think any like roughness of the graphics, we can expect that to get better. And um, like Link being out of place, that might be improved a bit. But at the same time, I think that you know it has its own style, and I think it it fits. It's how it belongs there. But maybe that's just me. Either way, any roughness or bad looks to the graphics, I think we can expect to, um, you know, be resolved by the time the game comes out. Uh, BP Spees asks, when Skyward Sword comes out, what do you think the reaction will be? Because it seems like everybody hates this game already. I, I wouldn't say not, I, I wouldn't say everyone hates it. I've seen plenty of people who like it, and of course including me, and I've, I've talked to a lot of other people with the same feelings as me. Um, or similar feelings. Um... If it's more, as for when it comes out, if it's more like what Twilight Princess was, the reaction will probably be somewhat mediocre, you know, everyone will feel about the same about it as they did uh, with Twilight Princess, you know, plenty of people thought it was amazing, me included, it was a great game. Um, if it surpasses Twilight Princess, I think the, um, the fans will rave about it, I think it'll be quite honestly one of the biggest games for, that we've had for quite a while. And um, keep in mind though, this is Zelda, it's, it's still Zelda. Even if it isn't as even as good as Twilight Princess, it's still going to be a very phenomenal game, and it's going to turn on a lot of sales, and the fans are going to love it. That's pretty much a given. Uh, Shane Horka asks, "Do you think the new Zelda game will have Princess Zelda and Ganondorf in it?" Well, it definitely, it's going to have Zelda. I mean, I know that the series sometimes you know makes doesn't even have her be very important, but it's almost always had her appear in it. Um, there's been rarely a few games where they didn't involve Zelda in the actual storyline. Um, I do not believe there's going to be a Ganondorf. Uh, the game has basically been confirmed to be a prequel, and it, you know, talks about the creation of the Master Sword. Without the Master Sword, you can't have Ganon for two reasons. First of all, the Master Sword is the only thing that can kill Ganon. Second, the, um, Ganon's origin story, Ocarina of Time, contain the Master Sword. So if we're going to deal with the creation of the Master Sword, we can't have Ganon. Um, as for what villain there'll be, maybe there'll be no villain. I mean, they talk about the world being overrun by an army of evil. Maybe it's just an army. That's kind of doubtful. They could have a new villain. Um, I've talked about, I've mentioned, I haven't talked or mentioned it. I, um, I've thought that um, the game might have Vati as the villain because there seems to be some prevalence of eyes, at least in one enemy type. Uh, but that doesn't mean a lot, so we'll have to see. Uh, if you believe Minish Cap's at the beginning of the timeline, then sure, maybe Vati is going to be the villain. I don't really know. We'll have to see. But definitely no Ganondorf. Um, John Wasuelos asks, Yeah, Miyamoto definitely emphasized there being no sword in the artwork, and that's definitely the master sword in the trailer. So that almost disproves theories about the girl. What do you think about the sword and what the Skyward Sword is? Uh, actually, despite the fact there being no story stuff in the trailer, there were some facts about the story in the interviews. Um, the, uh, the Skyward Sword actually turns into the girl in the artwork, and it's a semi-intelligent sword. It, um, at the end, I'm not sure when, but they've said at some point in the game it will turn into the Master Sword. So this is an origin story of the Master Sword. And, um... That, you know, that proves and is pro that proves a lot of rumors, because, you know, they said the girl was the Master Sword, the Master Sword was gonna be, was gonna be the origin story, that it won't even appear in the game, it's sort of, that's sort of half correct, half wrong. Um, as for what I think about the sword, I think it might have something to do with either the Uka or the Goddesses, probably more likely the Goddesses, it's the Skyward Sword 
it's going to come from the sky, either having something to do with the people of the sky, or it's going to have to do with um, the uh, the goddesses sending it down from the sky. That makes sense to me. There's also supposed to get power by holding it up to the sky. It, it being a thing with the goddesses makes the most sense to me, and goes along with the Sword of Evil's Bane stuff, too. Um, Seamus asks, at the end of the trailer it shows Link jumping off a cliff. Do you think this is an indication of flight? What are your thoughts on this? Uh, no, definitely not. I mean, you know what I've said about that, but this is a logical conclusion. Um, Link uses the Skyward Sword to travel between his home, a place in the clouds named Skyloft, and the land below, which is probably Hyrule. And since he has to use the sword to travel up and down, I don't think there's any way he can fly, because he'd just fly up there. I don't think there's going to be any flight in this game, and I know Link uses the sword's power to travel up and down, so... Yeah. Um, Giraffes Man 3705 asks, In the trailers, it shows a lava fish, and in your picture on the site, there is a picture of Link and a red blob. What do you think their names will be, and what do you think their attacks are? The blob is definitely a choo-choo. Um, the recent blobs in the games have always been choo-choos. They never tried the bots or the, um, the gels from the previous games. And, um its eyes look just like the choo-choos. Um, its attacks will likely be like they were in Wind Waker, you know? It might move along the ground a little bit more based on its appearance and what they were in Twilight Princess. So it might be a combination of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Um, the fish thing you mentioned, it looks almost exactly like a fire toad, po toad pulley from uh, Twilight Princess. The, um, they look really almost identical, just the difference in style, really, and maybe vague design differences. And um, it will probably attack by spinning fire. That's all the fire toad bullies did. I mean, that's actually a thing a lot of enemies in video games do. Spitting fire. It's, it's basic stuff. Um, Musical Henry asks, It seems like the whole game was designed around Wii Motion Plus. Almost as if the, um, the motion controls are more important than the game itself. The E3 demo was more of a motion controls demo than a Zelda demo. Do you think this is going to hurt the game? Also, what do you think about the criticisms of the controls not working as well as they should? Um, the E3 thing was basically a gameplay presentation. Uh, I don't really think it's a problem, because I think they'll follow up with some story, more story information. They have in, you know, interviews, but I think they might do another presentation like this one about the story before the game comes out. Uh, plus, they've been focusing on the new gameplay stuff anyway. That's been their their, you know, selling point, and I think that's, it's wise to stick to that, and I think it is a big deal in a lot of ways. I, the people have already been raving about it a bit. Um, as for the criticisms, they actually don't hold water. On the stage, during the presentation, they said it was interference, and, you know, that seems like they're trying to cover it up, but on the show floor, people playing the game confirmed that they think the same thing because they didn't have trouble with it. So I think... And, you know, in some of the gameplay trailers and clips, it doesn't look like you have trouble swinging. It was just Miyamoto on stage. So I think all the facts point to that the controls are going to be fine. And I personally think they look great. But that's just me. You know, you, you guys get annoyed at my opinions anyway, so... Um, Fuzzy Tomcat asks, Axel, do you think there will be a version of Skyward Sword that will be compatible with the Wii Classic controller or GameCube controller? Some of us older gamers can't be swinging our arms all the time, you know. Uh, sadly, I doubt it. Um, I know that that's an important thing that for some of people like you, but um, Nintendo basically designs games to be what they want them to be, especially when Miyamoto's involved. He makes a game on you know what he wants to do and what he you know to be original. He does all these things. Um, I think it's like Aonuma who tends to make it so that the game fits in with what people want a little more. They, they work together pretty well, but overall, Nintendo doesn't do, you know, it doesn't do that kind of thing. Um, I also don't think they're going to do it if they can't um, make both of them just as complete. If they, They're not going to build in a slightly dumbed-down version of the game. They're going to make it so no matter how you play, you experience the game full. And I don't think they're going to take the time to do it for another control scheme, sadly. I really, it'd be good if they did, but I just don't see it being that likely. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, last question. Flame asks, in one of your last videos, you predicted that the game would have a lighter atmosphere than Twilight Princess. Since this is now true, what other things do you predict w that will c become fact? And do you feel proud that you guessed right on it? <laughs> a bit, I mean, look. But, um, 
uh, about three out of my six predictions are correct. Uh, I still think the voice acting and inventory stuff is possible. There's been implications that it could very well be. Um, I believe there will be no Ganon. I believe that the scorpion you see in the trailers, which is probably a boss, is Goma. Um, I believe that the music will be orchestrated. I'm pretty certain of that now. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure myself. <laughs> um, and I think the difficulty will be more satisfying. They've mentioned saying that they like it when the challenge... Aonuma, specifically, mentioned he likes it when there's a challenge to make it rewarding to play. Those are my predictions for now. I might do another video to follow up on my prediction stuff. We'll see. But, yes, I am a little happy that I've been proven right so far. We'll have to see about the other stuff. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Be sure to send me more uh, Skyward Sword questions and other questions, too, so I can use them in the next mailbag. Send them to the email address in the description. Later, guys.